signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what messages are coming in for you um, over the next couple of months. We'll see what your tarot guides would like for you to know, what advice they may have for you. As always, it's a general reading. So please be mindful of that as the messages may or may not resonate with everyone. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email address will be listed below. So what is it do the water signs that what is it that water signs need to know? Bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands and the Five of Swords have this similar energy in the sense where they bring in this conflict or they bring in this um, this unease, right? And below that, you have the Tower, which is really interesting. Something you may have experienced a Tower moment, maybe not recently, maybe recently, maybe you know, a couple of months ago, maybe a lot longer than that. But maybe there's the the aftermath of this tower moment still lingers. Maybe you're still holding on to what collapsed or what fell apart. And maybe you're still, you know, um, really fixated on what didn't work or what's not working for you right now. And this kind of energy is bringing in this conflict within you. It's this emotional tug of war. Okay, you maybe had a vision for something. Or you had a plan for something and maybe not everything went according to plan maybe not everything went according to that vision that you held in your mind's eye and that's okay and that's all right but some of you you might be holding on to that um, you may be doing it on a subconscious level as well and you may have physical symptoms that might be manifesting like the the fact that you're holding on to this energy of stress or resentment or anger Okay, you might not be aware of it. You might be like burying it deep into your subconscious and you're holding on to this, um, you know, you're holding on to a relationship that collapsed or plans that didn't necessarily work out. And again, it's it's happened in the past. Okay, it's unfortunate that it didn't necessarily work out exactly the way that you wanted to for it to go. But the part of things not working out for you, that's a part of things working out for you, if it makes sense. Because things are coming together for you here, but you you can't focus on you know what collapsed. So you can't focus on what fell apart. Because if you stay into in that energy, um, I see that for some of you, you might um, you might be experiencing like physical symptoms of that of that stress that stress or resentment or anger that you hold on to, and you know you don't want that because it's not, you know it's not pleasant and it's not a good energy. You know we don't want that for you. We don't want that for anyone. You may be experiencing like um, symptoms such as heartache or headaches, sleepless nights, restless nights, uh, those kind of things. Um, and those are signs for you to let go of whatever it is that's bothering you. Because there's something here that you it might be hitting your stuff, um, stuff that you've stored up inside. Um, so with Ace of Cups, I feel like there's an opportunity, especially right now, for you to move on from something that didn't work out. Or for you to let go of anything that you might still be holding on to, whether consciously or whether subconsciously. Okay, because this, there's something here that it's bringing conflict. It's bringing in such a strong conflict into this reading. It may have been a disagreement or a fight with a sibling, a loved one, a romantic partner, um... Or it may have been just something else, you know, this towel moment. <clears throat> There's something here that didn't necessarily work out for you. And you might still be holding on to the reason, like holding on to what didn't work out. Okay, and you're looking. And the whatever it is that you focus on, that's where your energy goes. That's where your energy flows. Once you shift your focus and your perspective, your energy is going to follow suit. Your end, like your energy your attention is going to follow suit and now's a perfect time for you to do some cleansing okay for you to do some detoxing detoxing of some of these like detoxing decluttering cleansing um emotional cleansing purging so getting rid of any of that 
like residual stuff that you're still storing up in your energy so any of those negative emotions those emotions that don't feel good get them out of your system okay um any heartbreaks any heartaches any anger any resentment sit with it understand you know be be kind be gentle with yourself understand why you're feeling what you're feeling um but also try and understand why is that you're still holding on to it when this very thing has let you know, has let go, has let its, like has let go, um, and it, like has let go of its hold of you, okay, so, and once you do that, a funny thing here happens, it's this, um, it's this cleansing, um, it's this emotional awakening, um, and there's this flow, Okay, especially with the Ace of Cups and the, alongside the Chariot here. There's this beautiful flow, this beautiful stream of energies, of emotions here. So if you've been holding on to anything, even notice with the Tower moment here. The Tower, sorry, the Tower card. Um, you know, it just feels like it's this culmination and then all, all of a sudden it's this explosion. Um, similar thing going on with the Ace of Cups here, right? There's this chalice here that's being filled that's constantly being filled and this chalice this vessel can only store so much content within it um that so much so that once it's full it's got nowhere to go so what happens it starts overflowing this is this is sort of what's happening with your energy you've been holding on to um a lot of things from the past okay and it's it might not even be all that bad but it's just stuff that you shouldn't be holding on to anymore and it's just time to let it go um, because it's got nowhere, so it's got nowhere to go, okay, you've been holding on to this stuff for so long that it's got nowhere to go, and you've stored so much of this stuff in your energy that you might be, you might find yourself getting, like, emotionally triggered a lot, right, something someone says or does, it sort of pushes your emotional buttons, or it triggers you in a very big way, that's because it's hitting your stuff inside, that's because it's, you know, triggering you, because of all this stored up energy that you're holding on to. So it's time to release. It's time to let go. Okay. And you can't pretend to let go. Because. Well you just can't right. So you got to let it go. You got to sit with it. You got to understand it. Try and understand it. Be gentle with yourself. All right. And then just let it go. Let, let, let it go completely. Because when you do that. You'll create more. Like, it's, it just feels like it's such a liberating energy. And you'll create movement here. Because right now, some of the energy might feel a little bit stagnant. Because it's got nowhere to flow to. Okay, it's got nowhere to go. This stuff, it's not passing through you. It's coming in. It's entering your energy field. And you're holding on to it. Instead of releasing it, or instead of letting it pass through you, and letting it go, you're holding on to it. You're holding on to something that didn't work out, or something that someone said. Forget about it. It does not matter. It, no, maybe it mattered once upon a time, but let it go, okay? Don't store it up inside of you. Don't store it up inside of you that, you know, something someone says it does then starts hitting all this stored up energy inside of you. Let it go. Um, I don't know that, it, it, you know, it's just not that deep. It's just, it happened and it was an experience and, you know, let it flow through you basically because once you do there's just so much energy there's just so much flow here okay there's so much energy that starts flowing things start moving the wheels are in motion here things start moving energy starts flowing um and all of a sudden you'll start noticing movement where there was stagnation you know progress where there was none you'll start noticing you're, you're feeling better you're not getting, you know, as emotionally triggered or you're not getting as upset about things. And you'll notice there's, you know, there's just this flow. There's this flow of energies, there's this flow of emotions and there's just things, things are happening, things are moving, things are changing, things are shifting. All because you have, you know, you've done this cleansing, this detoxing, this purifying, this, you know, letting go of stuff. Um... There's something here, I feel like the tarot guides want you to know this very strongly. Um, 
something okay it could be i don't know it could be a competition for some of you an actual competition it could be something to do sports related um it could be a relationship but basically you felt like you lost something here you felt like you lost the battle you felt like you lost the game you felt like you you know you lost the rela like the relationship ended and you f feel like it was your loss it wasn't your tarot guides want you to know that it wasn't not at all um, if anything you dodged a bullet or if anything you ended up winning something even though you may have not physically won the competition or even though the relationship you know didn't necessarily work out the way that you wanted and this person you wanted to and this person walked away in the end I feel, and it doesn't feel it may not feel for you it may not feel like you emerged the victor but you have because you've gained something from out of it you've gained growth you've gained experience you've gained perspective okay so again you're looking at what didn't work out you're looking at what collapsed and yes yeah, sure it collapsed but you have to find you know you have to look deeper look deeper because whatever collapsed him whatever didn't work out he did so for a reason you know whatever didn't work out is a part of things working out for you and that reason is because the universe is allowing you to build a foundational structure for something stronger for something better okay so you did not lose you won it may not feel like that it probably doesn't feel like that for a lot of you but you won here you won okay you are the victor you you've just judged the situation wrongly that's all it was um there's some big your your tarot guides your spirit guides are trying to connect with you okay and they have been doing some they have been doing so for a while but i think they've been struggling because i think you've been your energy has been a little stagnated your energy has been a little blocked and once you start unblocking, okay, once you start unblocking and releasing, your spirit guides, your tarot guides are then going to have access to you, or better access to you. And they're going to, um, and because of that, they're going to, um, going to be able to get the message across to you, okay? Because there's some messages that I feel like are trying to get delivered to you here, but you kind of, you've been blocking those mess those messages, those energies. For some of you, it could be phys like it might actually be physical. For instance, there may be some letters, or there may be some mail that, or even some parcels, some something in the post that may, you know, it's intended for you, but it might be delivered to the wrong address, or okay, or it might be like end up in your neighbor's post box rather than yours, but it's intended for you, and whatever this is. It's funny because whatever the contents of this is important and it's intended for you, but maybe the universe just thinks that you're not in the right mindset to receive it just yet. Or you're not, you know, if you're going to receive it right now where you're at at this point in time, it's not really going to make, it's not really going to be useful to you or it's not going to really make a lot of sense to you. So just trust the timing of things, okay? Because, yeah, I, I see this some messages the universe is trying to reach you with but because of this blocked energy that you're experiencing because of the stagnated your energy you're experiencing and because you've stored up so much stuff that you know it's not passing through you it's got nowhere else to go you're not really receiving any new content okay because like the chalice here it's just everything's this just this outpour and this overflow uh, and everything's sort of just going everywhere being misdirected so you know once you once you sort of do that cleansing that emotional purging that releasing things will start falling into place and you'll start making sense of things you'll see or you'll finally start receiving what's you know what was always intended for you all right air signs these are your messages thanks for listening thanks for watching thank you for your time your energy your attention bye